Happy Valentine's Day. Hi everyone, it's Lynn from Halen Vintage and welcome back to Retro Cooking Wednesdays. Today we are going to do cherry berries on a cloud. We went back to our 1971 Betty Crocker recipe index that we've been cooking at from the beginning of this series. So um, it's very nice for Valentine's Day. It's kind of a lot of steps, but they're pretty easy steps. So let's go through those ingredients. I'll meet you at the ingredient table. Okay, so the ingredients that we need for our cherry berries on a cloud, we are going to have to use three egg whites. So I will separate these. I do have them in a little bit of warm water because um, if your egg whites are at like room temperature, they're easier to separate and you'll get better volume out of your eggs. So I want those to be at room temperature. I need three quarters cups of sugar that we will add like by the tablespoon to get a really nice meringue. And we also need a quarter teaspoon of cream of tartar. So that's our, like our base, our meringue like type cookie we will be making. And then for a filling, we're going to use three ounces of cream cheese, um, a half a cup of sugar. So we'll mix that together with a teaspoon of vanilla, a half a teaspoon of vanilla, sorry. And then we will whip up some whipping cream so we will do a cup of chilled whipping cream. So you want your beaters and your bowl chilled and you'll whip this up. And then a cup of marshmallows and you will fold that into your cream cheese mixture. And then on top of that, so this cream cheese mixture goes on top of their meringue once it's cooked. We will then do a cherry berry type Filling on top of that, so it is a 21 ounce, 21 ounce can of cherry pie filling, which we will also add two cups of sliced strawberries. I live in Michigan, so the strawberries were looking really horrible. You can use frozen, so I just have um, frozen strawberries here that I will cut up two cups of those. And then we just want to add a teaspoon of lemon. I might have real lemons downstairs. If not, we still have lemon juice, so we just need a teaspoon of lemon juice. So let me grab my little hand mixer and let's get these eggs whipped. So let's separate our eggs. The one thing I wanna say about separating your eggs, I just like to do it by hand. It's kind of like, don't put your eggs all in one basket because you don't want yolk in this when you want to make this nice and fluffy. So I'm going to put this in another bowl. And then you can either save these to eat them later, put them in your dog's food or whatever you want to do with them. But you never want to just break them all at once into the same bowl because you can bet when you go to do that last egg, the yolk will break. And with the price of eggs, you don't want to have to start over. So I just like to let it run through my fingers. Then once I know that it's out, I'll dump it into the other bowl, put my yolk somewhere else. That way I know I don't have any yolk or shell in my egg whites. All right, so we're gonna beat our egg whites. I just have my little hand mixer here. There are actually four stages of egg whites, which is foamy, which I'm going to add as our first stage, I'm gonna add my quarter teaspoon of cream of tartar in here, which cream of tartar is actually just scraped off of wine barrels. So 
the first stage of egg whites is foamy and then there's four stages so then there's soft peaks stiff peaks and then over beaten we don't want to go there but we do want to go to stiff peaks so right here is foamy we can see how it's nice and foamy and then we're going to start to slowly add by tablespoon our sugar to get a really nice glossy meringue and for some reason the um the egg whites they just get like really white and glossy so you'll know you're there that's kind of how we also make angel food cakes so all those mixes that you do this is i mean one of the basic steps of even making a angel food cake so i'm just slowly adding my three quarter cup of sugar to this mixture tablespoon by tablespoon but can you see like how this is starting to get it's getting glossier we're getting there you can see it's starting to go on top of itself you're getting some ribbons there in your mixture to make sure these would pile on top of each other so they're really nice and white and creamy pretty thick so I just I lined my um, baking sheet with some parchment paper and the other side I cut into a beautiful heart so I'm just gonna outline this heart kind of onto my baking pan somewhat just so that I can kind of like See where I'm going with my meringue. Just to give me an idea. So I got a little bit of a heart shape here. All right. And then I'm just going to smear my meringue into my heart. Make it look like a heart. Build up the sides. So I'm just trying to like make kind of a little bit of a divot in there so that our filling and everything will stay in there and just push this out to the side. All right. We're gonna put this into our 275 degree oven for like an hour. So we'll come back when that's done. All right, so we're gonna start on our filling. I have my three ounces of softened cream cheese in here. 
I put it in a bigger bowl because we have to mix everything in here. You know, you still got to add your whipped cream and all that stuff. So I'm just mixing that cream cheese, vanilla, and then we're going to add our half a cup of sugar to this. So that was just three ounces of cream cheese. And then I'm just slowly kind of adding this half a cup of sugar. It was a half a teaspoon of vanilla. Get this all mixed together. So then I'm going to make some whipped cream to put in here. You could probably just stir in um, a cup of Cool Whip if you wanted to, but we're going to whip our own cream. So we'll set this guy aside. All right, so in my bowl, I just have my one cup of whipped cream that is pretty cold. And we are just going to whip this until it's the consistency of whipped cream. Getting that volume up there. And on my curtain. So I got my cream cheese mixture here. We're gonna fold this nicely beaten whipped cream in there. I mean, if you were to switch out Cool Whip, I don't know, because this doesn't have any sugar in it. We're just taking the sugar from this. It wasn't too hard to beat on your own. So we're just gonna fold that in also with a cup of mini marshmallows. So I'm just going to fold all this together. Half turn, cut down, half turn, go around. Just making sure you get the bottom of the bowl. So cut back down through there and flip it over. We don't want to, we don't want to deflate our beautiful whipped cream. All right, so this is all nice and mingled together. So this will go on top of our meringue heart. So let's make that cherry berry mixture. All right. So I just took these beautiful strawberries that were frozen. I cut them. I just sliced them up. I did about two cups in here. Um, you know, we live in Michigan. Strawberries are not abundant right now. So we just used the frozen ones. We're then going to take our 21 ounce can of cherry pie filling. Mix that with that. How bad can it be? It's strawberries and cherry pie filling, right? So this will go on top of our, oh, we got the meringue, then we got the whipped cream mixture, cream cheese mixture, and then this goes on top of that. Mm -mm -mm. So then to this, we're supposed to add a teaspoon of lemon if you have real lemons i would put real lemon juice in here i probably have real lemons downstairs but we all live in the real world i don't want to go downstairs again so we're using we're using regular lemon this was in my refrigerator up here so guess what 
it's only a teaspoon. It won't hurt. We're just gonna add that to that. Lynn ain't walking downstairs for a teaspoon of lemon. And you live in the real world, you wouldn't walk down there either. Be honest. All right, this is our cherry berry filling for on top of that. So once our meringue comes out, we'll add our cream cheese and then this on top of that. How does this taste? Hmm, kind of good with the frozen strawberries. All right, so we got our cream cheese mixture here. Our little meringue came out of the oven. It's sat in there at 275 degrees for an hour and a half, and then we let it sit in the oven for an hour. So now we're gonna pile up this beautiful cream cheese, sugar, vanilla, and heavy whipping cream into our heart cloud. So I just got a little offset spatula here. I'm just gonna pile this up in the center. Make our little beautiful little cloud. I'm gonna spread this kind of to the edges. I'm gonna make a little bit of a divot on the inside for our cherry berry. So this has the one cup of marshmallow. We beat one cup of heavy cream, a half a cup of sugar, and then that was added to that cream cheese mixture that we had. So I'm just trying to make a little bit of a divot because we want somewhere to put all those cherry berries in. A little cloud. So, got that all spread out. So now this has to go into the refrigerator for up to 12 hours. We'll come back and finish this up. Hi everyone, so we pulled our meringue out of the refrigerator. It's been sitting and in there for over 12 hours. And yep. cherry. Yep, so we're gonna put the cherry berry topping on it and then we're gonna try it and see what we think. So little Addie here is gonna help me get the cherry berry on the top. So mm -hmm. let's get this together. I have some fruit. Yeah, you got some fruit and you got a spoon. Oh yeah. So let's show them okay. our little Yep, we're just going to put that on there. Oh, that's good. That's finally like something. Oh, that was a good splash. Good splash. Oh my God, that's, oh my God. Don't worry, it'll oh, just go in there. <laughs> it'll be okay. Let's get it so that it's all red. Lick your fingers, there you go. Is it good? Mm-hmm. All right. Mmm. Mm. So we got our topping on here. Yummy. Yummy. It looks pretty good, don't you think? Hey, mm -hmm. where are you going? Mm. So, let's give it a try, Miss Addie. Grab your fork. Cheese? Cheers. This is bite into it. Ooh, look at that. I want the middle. You want the middle? Yes, I want. I'm gonna have a big piece today. You're gonna have a big piece? Okay. Cheers, everyone. Oh. Uh oh. Ah. Uh. Mmm. Good. It's good. Miss mm -hmm. Addie says it's good. Yeah, eat it all. I'm not gonna eat it all. I'm taking a bite. She wants the whole thing for herself. Yes. <laughs> this is mine. Is yours? I made mm. this. It's 
pretty good, isn't it? I'll have it to my cat. Ah! It turned evil. Turned evil? I'm going to take Good stuff, guys. This is Lynn from Halen Vintage. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe to my channel. Happy Valentine's Day! <laughs> Happy Valentine's Day. And next week, we will be doing fondue. So we'll be doing some chocolate fondue. Hopefully, Eddie and I will be doing that this weekend. Wow. So we will get that up for you so that you guys can have that for next week. You should week. try to make this. Yeah, it's pretty good. Addie says it's pretty good. Yeah. So try and make it. Yeah. With that being said, everyone, bye. Don't forget to stay retro. Bye, everyone.